Reaction Engines Limited REL is a British aerospace manufacturer based in Oxfordshire, England. Topic: History and Personnel. Reaction Engines was founded in 1989 by Alan Bond, lead engineer on the British Interplanetary Society's project Daedalus, and Richard Varvel and John Scott Scott, the two principal Rolls-Royce engineers from the RB545 engine project. The company conducts research into space propulsion systems, centered on the development of the Skylon reusable SSTO spaceplane. The three founders worked together on the HOTOL project, funding for which was withdrawn in 1988, largely due to significant technical obstacles. The division of responsibilities is Mark Thomas Seng Fraze, Managing Director, 2015, Nigel McNair Scott, Non Executive Chairman, 2010, Tom Scrope, Finance Director, 2014, Richard Varvel, Technical Director and Chief Designer. Sam Hutchison, Director of Corporate Development, 2012 Robert Bond, Corporate Programs Director, 2008 Gordon Harrison, Production Director, 2010 John Garrod, as Non-Executive Director, 1996 In 2015 Base Systems agreed to buy a 20% stake in the company for £20.6 million as part of an agreement to help develop Reaction's Synergetic Air Breathing Rocket Engine Sabre hypersonic engine designed to propel the Skylon Orbiter. In April 2018, Boeing announced its investment in Reaction Engines, through Boeing Horizon X Ventures with a $37.3 million Series B funding alongside Rolls Royce PLC and Bay Systems. Topic: Current research. Topic: Skylon. Skylon is a design for a single stage to orbit combined cycle powered orbital spaceplane. Topic. Saber Skylon and the Saber engine by which it will be powered are being developed as a private venture which aims to overcome the obstacles that were imposed on further HOTOL development due to the British government classifying the HOTOL engine as an official secret and keeping the engine design classified for many years afterward. The company's current research effort is focused on pre-cooler heat exchanger technology, with additional funding gained from the sale of consultancy. The company has also received funding from the EU to investigate applications of its technologies to rapid long-distance passenger transport, under the LAPCAT project. In February 2009, the European Space Agency announced that it was partially funding work on Skylon's engine to produce technology demonstrations by 2011. With this funding REL completed a non-frosting sub-zero heat exchanger demonstration program, Bristol University developed the strict expansion, deflection nozzle and DLR completed an oxidizer-cooled combustion chamber demonstration. REL claimed this work moved the Skylon project to a TRL of four-fifths. In July 2016, at the Farnborough Air Show, Reaction Engines announced £60 million in funds from the UK Space Agency and ESA to create a ground-based Sabre demonstration engine by 2020. In April 2019, Reaction announced that it has successfully tested the precooler technology needed to prevent the engine from melting. Topic A2. On the 5th of February 2008, the company announced it had designed a passenger plane to the concept stage. The A2 would be capable of flying non-stop halfway around the world at hypersonic speed Mach 5 plus. The A2's engine, Scimitar, has precooler technology which is somewhat similar to Sabre but does not have the rocket features and is optimized for higher efficiency for atmospheric flight. Topic. United States 
In January 2014, REL entered into a Cooperative Research and Development Agreement with the United States Air Force Research Laboratory to assess and develop Sabre technology. In 2015, AFRL announced their analysis, confirmed the feasibility and potential performance of the Sabre engine cycle. However, they felt SSTO as a first application was a very high risk development path and proposed that a two stage to orbit TSTO vehicle was a more realistic realistic first step. In 2016 AFRL released two TSTO concepts using Sabre in the first stage, the first 150 feet 46 meters long carrying an expendable upper stage in an underside opening cargo bay capable of delivering around 5,000 pounds to a 100 nautical miles 190 kilometers orbit, the second 190 feet 58 meters long carrying a reusable spaceplane on its back, capable of delivering around 20,000 pounds (9.1 t) to a 100 nautical miles (190 kilometers) orbit. In March 2017, REL announced the formation of an American subsidiary, Reaction Engines Inc. (REI), led by Adam Dissel in Castle Rock, Colorado. In September 2017, REI announced a contract from DARPA to test a REL precooler test article, HTX. At temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius (1,830 degrees Fahrenheit), previous precooler tests focusing on frost control having been conducted from ambient temperature. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Advanced studies. Reaction Engines Limited is currently also researching more advanced spaceflight. Topic passenger module for Skylon Although Skylon is designed to only launch and retrieve satellites, and that is also unmanned, Reaction Engines Limited has proposed a passenger module in the payload bay of the Reaction Engines Skylon spaceplane. The passenger module is sized to fit in the payload bay, and early designs could carry up to 24 passengers and one crew. There is an ISS type docking port and airlock as the central feature. There are two ground entry doors that align with the doors on the side of the Skylon payload bay to allow easy ground access to the cabin. The doors are fitted with conventional inflatable chutes for passengers to escape in case of any ground emergency. There could be space shuttle type windows on the roof of the module for passengers to enjoy the view in space. There is also a washroom and hygienic facilities provided in the cabin. Further studies refined the concept, with an initial configuration to be fitted with five ejector seats, for four passengers and one crew, rather similar to the first four Space Shuttle spaceflights. Once the passenger module is fully certified, the ejection seats will be removed and there will be 16 upright seats installed for a short stay in space. 14 days. An upright seat will also be provided for the crew. There are also life support systems under the cabin floor, equipment bays, and cargo holds. <inaudible> orbital base station The orbital base station OBS is a concept of a future, expandable space station to serve as an integral part of a future space transportation system and also in the maintenance and construction of future manned Moon and Mars spacecraft. The construction of the OBS is modular, and assumes the use of the reaction engine Skylon in low Earth orbit. The structure is based on a cylinder, designed to allow space inside the cylindrical section for the construction and repair of various spacecraft. The cylindrical structure will also provide space for habitation modules with docking ports, manipulator arms, and propellant farms to refuel an interplanetary spacecraft. Topic: <laughs> Reaction Engines Project Troy. The Reaction Engines Troy mission is a concept of a future crewed mission to Mars. The concept arose to confirm the capability of the Skylon launch vehicle that it can and does enable large human exploration to the solar system's planets. The Troy spacecraft concept consists of an robotic precursor mission, including an Earth departure stage, and a Mars transfer stage. There is a habitation module, a storage module, and a propulsion module to be deployed from the spacecraft to land together at a selected site on the Martian surface to form a base. 
There are also ferry vehicles that would transfer crew members to and from the base to an orbiting crewed spacecraft. There would be three precursor spacecraft to Mars to set up three bases on the planet to enable maximum exploration of the planet's surface. Fifty days after launch, the Earth departure stage is brought back to low Earth orbit by the Earth's gravity, and the Flute space tug would bring the stage back to the orbital base station for construction of the later crewed mission. The crewed spacecraft would consist of three habitation modules, three docking ports, and two ferry vehicles. The spacecraft would rotate along the centerline to provide artificial gravity. It would leave Earth with the Earth departure stage and transfer to Mars with the Mars transfer stage, and rendezvous with the precursor spacecraft in Martian orbit. The craft would dock together to enable the crew to transfer to the ferry vehicles for descent to the surface at a selected site. The crew, along with the equipped rovers, would spend 14 months to explore the Martian surface. The crew would return to Martian orbit with the ferry vehicle and rendezvous and dock with the orbiting crewed spacecraft. After a detailed inspection of the vehicle, the spacecraft would leave Mars for Earth on the Earth return stage. When the craft is captured in a Molnia orbit around Earth, the crew would board a ferry vehicle for transfer to low Earth orbit and rendezvous and dock with the waiting Skylon spacecraft for return to Earth. Construction of the spacecraft would take place at the orbital base station inside the cylindrical structure. Because the spacecraft is of highly modular design, the components would be brought up by the Skylon spacecraft. The rocket engines, fuel and oxidizer tanks, and habitation modules are sized to fit inside the Skylon payload bay, and that the fully assembled craft would also fit inside the cylindrical structure of the OBS. Topic. Flute OTV The Flute Orbital Transfer Vehicle is a concept of a future space tug. It would have the ability to dock with orbiting spacecraft and move payload in orbit. It is conceived to be assembled from two parts, each size to fit inside the Skylon payload bay, it would be launched from the Skylon and would also be an integral part for the construction of the orbital base station as well as the reaction engines TROY and the retrieval of the Earth departure stage from the precursor mission of the TROY mission. <laughs> 